hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with a post review. Yes. So as you guys know, I was working on Christmas Gnome Trio by Diamond Art Club. It is a 56 or 76 by 56 round with, I believe it had three ABs. So let's see. Yeah, we had three ABs in this and I did complete it. Now I know a lot of you thought I wasn't going to complete it because I started my mystery kit. But I'm here to tell you I completed it, all right? So, this kit had 55 colors. And so, we're going to start off with the trash first. So, for this 76 by 56, this is all the trash I had. Now, these are drills that either have uh, dimples in them, not dimples, uh, cavities in them. Or they're stuck together, or they had extra little bits of plastic, or you see, like, some other stuff that, like, you know, wax and stuff and stuff from my placers. But the drills themselves mostly cavities or ones that were stuck together or stuff like that like that was the majority of the trash that i had was stuff that was uh cavitied or stuck together so as you can see like this one here stuck together that one there stuck together but nothing major okay now when it comes to the drill the drill quality was really really good this is a lot better than the diamond art clubs i've worked in the past um so we, of course, as you can see, like these are all the drills that I have left, which I will be putting into storage. Don't worry, I'll show you a storage video. So these are all the drills I had left. Now, I did get close to, uh, I did get close, I, did, I, I was having a conniption over this one because uh, this 312, I thought I was going to run out because there was so little and I had a couple more patches that needed it, but I should have trusted the process because I already know Diamond Art Club's going to make sure I have enough drills for my kit. So I didn't run out of any drills. I didn't have problems with any of the other drills that I use. So as you can see, there are drills from every color left over in this kit. And I think 312 was the lowest amount of drills I had for the rest. Like this big bag of 3855. Uh, this big bag of 3854. Uh, those two had the most in it because I had literally just opened up the last two packs of these, uh, to finish this off, but I had no problems with the drills, no major problems with the drills, uh, minus, like I said, a couple of cavities, a couple of stuff together, but all drills have trash and that, that is something that you're just, you know, that's just part of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my trunk and put those in my trunk. I'm going to put that in there. All right, and this is my trunk that I got from Floss and Crafter. Now, I will be organizing these in here whenever I uh, do my video on how to organize your drills. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to kind of stick them here in the middle. And then be on the lookout next year, because, you know, that's creeping up on us. Be on the lookout next year for a video on how I'm going to store my leftover drills from now on. We're going to get a little bit more organized in 2022. So there is my Flossom uh, Crafters trunk, which I will, of course, link her down in the description box of the video. Sorry if it sounds like I'm running away from you because I technically am. So we're going to put this up here. And this is my Tori's Dim um, Diamond Tools uh, caddy. I absolutely, this has to be one of my favorite things in the world right now because I work out of baggies and it was so easy to separate the drills into different sections. Now, I wish she had one that was a little bit bigger so you could do like, you know, the different colors, but this worked out just fine. This little system worked out just fine for me. So thank you to Tori over at Tori's Diamond Painting Tools. I, of course, will link her as well. I'm going to actually fill that up with my current whip which is button eye the mystery kit from diamond art club but here you go christmas gnome trio now to get you a full view there we have it so this again was a 76 by 56 round with ab's we have ab's in the beard i absolutely love the design on this little guy's head um they're each holding something different whether it be the christmas bowl the candy cane or the tree the robins are a very nice touch to this i love the mistletoe at the top and bottom of this as well. The colors are super vibrant, um, but not to the point where they're like oversaturated, but they are really bright. Like I cannot even give you a real good description of how bright and cheerful and colorful this picture is. I did want to finish this before Christmas because I want to hang it up in the house somewhere. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check to see if I have something big enough for this. So give me one second. 
All right, so my poster board that I had wasn't big enough, but uh, yeah. If this is a kit that you are interested in, I would highly recommend. It's great even for beginners because there is a lot of color blocking. There also is a tiny bit of confetti. Like you're going to run into some confetti up here in the hat, in the beard, um, and there are skin tones. Like I love the way they did their skin and how it all blends together. I'm always weary about how the backgrounds blend, but when you're looking at this like you are from a further away distance, it actually looks really, really good for the blending. So I do like how this was all put together. I think Diamond Art Club did an amazing job on this. The border was a nice touch as well because when you then go to like if you go to uh, canvas finish this which I have a video on how to canvas finish a diamond painting which I will put up there in the eye. If you go to can um to canvas finish this you're going to have this beautiful little border at the top here uh, to decorate your your canvas with but I really really like how this turned out. Now one of the other things that people didn't realize or forgot about was the fact that this diamond painting uh sorry about that I'm knocking stuff over this diamond painting does glow in the dark as well so if you were unaware of that yes this diamond painting glows in the dark now do keep in mind that you have to charge the diamonds with a uv light to get them to glow as bright as you want natural sunlight will work but it will make it a little dull where you can't see it that well but if you actually use a uv light to charge these black drills uh, it will brightly shine in the dark. Now, the black drills are what was glow in the dark. So we have this snowman, the outline of the snowman and his beard. Same with this one and this one. The candy cane, the Christmas bulb, the Christmas tree, the cardinals, and all four of your mistletoe are going to glow in the dark. So when you turn the lights off, adding a picture in there, this picture will glow. Now, the picture I have isn't the best. I do apologize. But uh, it doesn't show the cardinal on the tree over here just because of the way I was angled when I took the picture. But it does glow in the dark. It looks really fantastic when it glows in the dark. So this is definitely one I would highly recommend because I'm all about the extras in the diamond painting and the fact that it not only has three ABs, but it also has glow in the dark drills. I'm here for it. I think Diamond Art Club did a fantastic job on their holiday collection this year. So that is it for me today, folks. I just wanted to show it to you because I know a couple people were asking because I started Button Eye, was I going to finish Christmas Gnome Trio? And when you guys saw me in the whipping chat, um, looks like Maggie replaced the wrong drill in there on that Christmas tree. When you guys saw me on the whipping chat, I was working on this section down here. And then after the whip and chat like yesterday I went and I went ahead and finished off the rest of this section because I didn't have much left because of the way I separated it so yeah so that's it for me today folks again thank you so much for watching huge thank you to Diamond Art Club for this beautiful beautiful canvas I really appreciate it I am going to go figure out a way to hang it up in my living room because it's Christmas time hey when I'm recording this of course but with that said, folks, I got to get out of here. So if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns about Christmas Gnome Trio from Diamond Art Club and Laurel or Lori Fresnel, uh, please leave those down in the comment section below. You know how we do. And I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I possibly can or whenever I'm not like passed out on the couch somewhere. <laughs> but with that said, please stay safe out here this holiday season. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face in public. Keep your six feet and always try. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys. <laughs>